died. Mm. On the line or? Yeah, yeah. Oh, mm. no, but yes. Yes, yeah. Yeah. Right. Now, wh where were you guys? Wh where were the. I know there were 700 in Pond's party, or yeah. give or take a few, but what, what work were they doing while they were moving around all the time? Doing, working a bit on the railway line, doing a uh, move a bit of dirt and embankments. Oh. But when, finally, when we went to Tarkana, we were building embankments there all the time. So that was the work that you did? Yeah, in building, yeah. digging up. Yeah. Well, we had to shift, three of us had to shift nine cubic metres of soil a day, which is quite a Huge. bit. Oh. And you had a basket, uh, a bit like a stretcher actually, you know, two uh, handles on it, well, he said. And <clears throat> but the whole trouble was with those baskets, at one stage, the judges would make you do so many baskets a day, and because we took the slats out and made those baskets smaller. <laughs> Tighten them up. Yeah. And of course, when you got to the same movie, uh, three kil uh, not kilometers, three cubic feet each. You want a bigger basket. <laughs> oh. Oh. But there again, they, well, they gave everyone a number when you were do doing these baskets. And you'd have, every time you emptied a basket, took one up a basket, you'd get call out your number. Oh. And if the jab happened to be the other side of the bank, couldn't see you, just stand where you were and just call out your number. <laughs> so they came back in the view again. Now, did you have uh, uh, Japanese engineers up there? No, uh, there would have been not where we were. They were just the ordinary. Was it with the embankment? How did they set the height? How did they know what height they wanted the embankment? I don't really to? know that. Oh. Don't really know. Yeah. Yeah. But I, they, I think they had pegs along the embankment. Yeah. But, uh, the ones we were, we were, we were, we were with us were only just ordinary Japanese and Koreans. Yeah. So they're only guards, they yeah, weren't even there. Yeah. 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 And there may be that fellow in camp, a fellow called Muriyama, he, he could have been an engineer, he was a captain. Oh. Oh. He was an awful fellow too. Yeah. Captain Muriyama. I, the, a, I've only seen it once. I saw a book which showed posts being sticking at, at angles out of the out of the embankment, yeah. then with a rod across the top, and that was the height that it had to be filled I don't remember, to. I don't no. really remember that. Uh, and that was down around Wampo yeah. area. And that, like, you, you and I walked uh, uh, around the Hellfire Pass Memorial oh, Trail, yeah. Yeah. and that seven metre embankment is huge. Yeah. yeah. I understand the sick parade was held every morning and sometimes at night when the troops came home. Uh, who was involved in that and you know, did it take long? Or? Well, it depends how long the queue was. See, Roy, it didn't matter what time you came home from work, Roy would have a sick parade. Two mm. o'clock in the morning you have a sick parade. Mm. He was always there. Mm. Now we, we we won't talk about Roy anymore because I his his story is very well known yeah. and it's it's well acknowledged what a great man yeah. he was and George Beecham was a, a great assistance to him but did you have a chaplain with you or anything like that? Uh, we had a Catholic padre at one stage I don't know what happened to him oh. and they, and then they had a another fellow he was a private a religious man took the the job at a padre. That was the one that I said to the a Korean said he was a bit of a Christian and I said he built a Christ out of him one day. That was a, I, I felt sorry for the bloke but I could see the funny side of it. Yes. And was that Velikov? Um, could have been him, yeah. yeah. Now I believe you were actually at the joining of the lines or yeah. you were in the vicinity. That was a time I they, they say Concord, Concord and Time Monta were very close together. And they really joined at Time Honda, and that's where we were at yes. the camp. Uh -huh. And you weren't allowed to observe that. You weren't allowed to watch. Yeah, but didn't, that was where Velikot got into a bit of bother, but didn't he? I don't remember that. Yeah. But, uh, and he, did he did he survive the line, Velikot, or did he die up there? Uh, I wouldn't know about that. He, was, he, wouldn't, he wasn't our unit, that's our unit. Yes. I know, but that, 
If he was still alive at that stage, I'd say he survived probably. Probably a Victorian. Yeah. Now, to be able to tolerate with the line, you must have had to make a lot of many things. Were there any things that you, know, you, you can recall of people you know, looking on the lighter, brighter side of life? Did you have concerts? Uh, no, not really, no. I can remember this um, fellow, quite a few blokes singing there one night in this Muriana. He lined them all up, he went lining and bang, punched the hole on them. No, no singing, he <laughs> There was no, nothing like that there. Incredible. Oh. No singing. You know, he got ten years after the war. I, and rightly so. Yeah. Oh. <coughs> Now, once the line was finished, I presume you went down to southern Thailand. How did you get down there? <laughs> well, I know we were at Taimata when the line was joined, and the train would come right past there, but before we could catch the train, we had to walk up to Nikki, which is about 8 or 10 kilometres away, and uh, when we got to Nikki, there wasn't sufficient accommodation, so they had to walk up to Son Kiwa, up, up further up. And we stayed there for about a week and I worked there, you know, the, <coughs> the, they still had water for the cooking, you had a stick across your shoulders and a bucket of water on each oh. <laughs> stick. And I was one of those carrying water for the cookhouse. Oh. And from there, <coughs> when we could catch the train, we had to walk back to Nicky again, even though the train was going past there. We had to walk back to Nicky to catch the train. Oh. And then <coughs> we had a dreadful train, ain't open trucks, back to... Uh, Bangkok, I tell you. Yeah, well, I finished up in Bangkok. Yeah. And uh, you know, a couple of times it ran off the line, they had to be manhandled. These diesels had to be manhandled on the back of the line. You had a whole lot of half dead troops uh -huh. Uh -huh. pushing these little trucks back. Yeah, good grief. And, and there was no, we had no food on the road. We weren't, the time from Nicky to back to Tommy got the road, there was no food. I can remember one, one night we stopped right alongside a whole lot of vegetables, sweet potatoes, I can, and I can remember in the dark, peeling them with my teeth and eating the potatoes, you know, uh, raw. Yes, yeah, pretty desperate. Yeah, but you're hungry. Yeah. When, now, you, you, you're coming down the train in the open trucks, were you being showered with the cinders because the, the trains were burning? No, I went, no, they were diesels. Oh, yes, yes. Diesel, they had diesels there, the Unco were German diesels, actually, Yeah. but they could either put uh, railway lines or rubber tyres on it. Yes, yeah. So that must have been a reasonably small train. It wasn't very big at all. Oh, no. oh. It wasn't a great deal bigger than, oh, probably, now, looking back now, probably about twice the size of a four-wheel drive. Yes. And when you went back to south, did you go to Tamakan or... I, no, I, we... Kanchanabri or... I, no, I don't, we, I went onto the wharves in Bangkok. So you went right through? Went right to Bangkok and we lay on those walls, nothing to do there for seven days. Yes. And you were working in the go-downs there? No, we right? weren't even working, then no. we were heading back to Singapore. Yes. Yeah. And we stayed there for seven days on mm. the wall. Oh, that's, yes, yes. And uh, then from then on we were taken out in like a big, something similar to a manly ferry, a big ferry. Mm. Uh, they use in a harbour in Sydney. Mm out into the Gulf of Siam <coughs> and you had to and the, getting on a bigger boat and you had to jump across that bump together. You know, the, the, the only way you could hop on it from one to the other. Mm. And from there we make this. Now we won't mention names but I believe that there was a, a senior officer's trunk was found <coughs> there. Senior officer's trunk well he had a, a quite a lot of a bit beyond, uh, as well as his trunk he had a lot of boxes of food, four or five of them, I think. Mm. Everyone was carrying them back to Chengi. <coughs> I'd say for himself. He, he, he said later that they were for sick people. Mm. But on those wharf, we were seven days on the wharf at Bangkok. Two fellows died. Mm. But they didn't get any of his, <laughs> no. his sick food. Yes. 